Hello everyone. Welcome to today's class. It's been a long while and uh, I want to say a very big uh, sorry to my subscribers for you know uh, keeping you without uh, publishing videos but it wasn't a deliberate action. I actually had an accident but uh, to God be the glory uh, I'm here now. I survived the accident and so I have to take some rest uh, within this period of rest okay but again here we are yeah we have a question before us here a simple one to refresh our brain before we go into our rhetorical ones and yeah the question says solve s to the power of x minus 2 equals to 16 what then is the value of x that to satisfy this exponential equation if you're new here, this is all i must tv and if you've not subscribed please do it to subscribe and when you subscribe turn on notification button so that the youtube algorithm will notify you whenever we release an amazing video all right so let's go into this solving so here we take our selection first thing. All right. Now the question is this. According to the law of indices, we can rewrite the whole of this expression here. Okay? Okay. So from here we can write this as x to the power of x, right? Times our x to the power of minus 2. This is equal to 16. Okay. Now from here, what do we do? Look at this. We can Fully eliminate this negative um, uh, power here, okay? This negative sign here. How do we do that? Thus means we can rewrite this as x to the power of x all over our x to the power of 2, equal to 16. Now, with what we have here now, it is easy here. If we decide to invoke the Lambert WM function, will it work out here? It would work out here, okay? It will give us a challenge and so we think of bringing out a number on this other side of the equation where we can raise to itself and at the bottom of it we raise that same number to two from there we can do comparison right okay now remember our 16 could be written as our four to the power of two that is 16 right okay so therefore we cannot have this x to the power of x all over x to the power of two this is equal to our 4 to the power of 2. Now, this expression we have here is supposed to be at the bottom. Okay? So that x will take place of 4 and here we have 2 here. Right? Okay. So, if we decide to put this all over 4 to the power of 2, automatically this will give us 1. And what we have here is 16 or 4 to the power of 2. So for us to go back to this expression we have here, let's multiply this by 4 to the power of 2. This is all about 1. Easy. Now from here, you discover that this, this will cancel out to give us this back, which automatically will lead us back to this expression here. So if we multiply this by this, since the basis are the same, we can add the power. So we can rewrite this to give us here our x to the power of x, all of our um, x, this is x leads to the power of 2. This is equal to 4 to the power of 2 plus 2 all over 4 to the power of 2. Oh, so this will give us here 4 to the power of 4 all over 4 to the power of 2. Now, let's continue on this side and write this out way. So what does that mean? It does implies that our x to the power of x all over x to the power of 2. This is equal to our 4 to the power of 4 all over 4 to the power of 2. Here we can do our comparison now. Easy. Look at what we have here. We are having x to the power of x. Here we are having 4 to the power of 4. Here we are having x to the power of 2. And here we are having 4 to the power of 2. So what does that imply? It means x is equal to 4. Easy. So ours we now have here x is equal to 4. Because if you take this numerator this this is to itself this is to itself so x is equal to 4 or if we take the denominator where we have x to the power of 2 is equal to 4 to the power of 2 then the exponent are the same and so the basis can equate themselves so it also means that our x is equal to 4 but let's do a simple check if this answer actually satisfies the original equation here so let's do a check all right so we have check Original equation is x to the power of x minus 2 equal to 16. Then this will now give us 
our 4, right? Okay, sorry, so let's put in our 4 to the power of 4 minus 2. This is equal to 16. So this minus this will give us 2. So we have here 4 to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So 4 to the power of 2 automatically, we all know from our elementary mathematics that it's 16. So we have 16 equal to 16. So this shows that the answer x equal to 4 satisfies the original equation. Okay, like I said, this is a quick one just to refresh our brain even as we're going to our work again. So again, if you love something from this video tutorial, then give the video a thumbs up. And again, um, there's a video I made some time ago where I made some mistake. I'm going to bring down the video and I'm uh, going to reproduce that video. Yet the mistake lies, I'm going to point it out and, you know, make the necessary correction. Thanks for being there. More videos are coming your way. Just sit back, relax, even as we are here to learn together. Thanks again and again. Bye. Hope we see you in our next video. Keep watching online mass TV. Bye for now.